Hey guys, Coach Kelly here, official trainer for I Love Lacrosse TV. So today, really, really important tips I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you three tips that will help improve your scoring ability and help you beat the goalie almost every time. Um, really, really helpful. I, I think it's common mistakes that youth players make, even high school players. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, let's get into it. All right guys, so now I'm gonna get into my first tip uh, for scoring more often and beating the goalie. And that's gonna be giving yourself the best possible angle. So, I'm gonna, Troy's gonna go in a second, but I'm gonna explain, if you see these cones, basically, Troy, set up in spot one. All right, so spot one, if you notice, Troy's gonna have his toes up against the cones, right? The way I set these cones up, I took them from the right pipe, diagonal about 10 yards up, right? That is, when you're doing like a time in room shot, that is a great angle. You always want to be try to have your be even with the far pipe, right? So that's spot one. That gives him a good angle. Now, to improve his angle, right, meaning to give him a better chance of scoring, he would move to spot two, which is going to be towards the middle. Troy, keep walking. So, and the further he gets towards the middle, stop. Good. The better his um, angle is going to get, and the higher his chance of scoring. Spot three. Right? Now, the, stop right there. The lower he gets below those cones, right? Now that's gonna be the worst chance of scoring. But we wanna, we wanna practice shots from different areas on the field. So Troy gets set up. So if he's, just, if he's shooting on his own, he's gonna do set shots. He'll do three of each right now. He's gonna do from spot one, spot two, and spot three. Go for it. Good. Great, now let's go to spot two. A little bit better angle. Good. Good, you see more of the goal. Good shot. Good, now let's go to spot three. A little bit more challenging. Good. Again. He's a tough angle now. Now he's got to get it that four fight. Good, awesome job, bud. Guys, he's really challenging himself too. It's a four, it's a four by four goal, so it's difficult. But the goal is going to be to practice shots from different angles on the field, right? But when we're playing, start being really conscious, right? The closer you are to the middle, the better your chances of scoring because the better your angle is on the goal. Um, so. Troy did a great job. Hopefully you got something out of it. It's a, you can kind of mix that in with any of our drills and just shoot from different locations. All right, guys, so now we're going to get into my second tip. Uh, you'll see on this drill, it's pretty good. It's basically you need to make sure you're aiming before you call for the ball. So I'd say close to 100% of the kids that come in here through my doors when I first start coaching them, almost none of them ever, they, that's the goal. They don't even look. They call for the ball. They're not aimed. And when they step to shoot, it's the first time they're seeing the target, right? That's a big problem. You know, a good, good player, high school level, college level, might get six or seven shots a game. So you want to make the best of it. So on this drill we're about to do, I am not going to toss the ball to Troy until he's ready. So we're going to be mimicking him being off ball. He's going to get to the spot he wants to and watch his eyes. Number one is he's going to look with his eyes at the target and aim, okay? Then he's going to make sure his non-throwing shoulder and hip, which in this case is his left hip and shoulder because he's a righty. He's going to make sure they're facing the target. Then once that's done, meaning he aimed, he's going to get a stick up in the box and call for it. Now, if you're doing this with someone, it's really good practice. So if they don't do one of those three things, so maybe their foot's open, they might look and then they call for it, don't throw it. You know, if they don't look and they do the other two, don't throw it. If their stick's down here, but they look and their hip and shoulder are in place, don't throw it, right? So it's really good practice. Uh, so let's get into it. All 
right, guys, it should be real easy to do. Again, super, super, super important. You always want to aim, visit, see the target, and then visualize it as you're calling for it. All right, guys, now we're going to get into the number three tip for how to beat the goalie and score more often. To me, so it's head fakes. Head fakes is the third tip. For me, this is the most underutilized weapon in all of lacrosse um, for shooting, even for passing. So let's just, to understand the concept, what I do with a lot of my guys when they first come in, guys and girls, um, let's put the lacrosse stick down and let's think of it in another environment. So I'm gonna pick this lacrosse ball up. We're gonna pretend that it's a basketball. Troy, come grab this right here. And Troy's gonna pretend he has a basketball and he's on the end line and it's an inbound pass in basketball. I'm sure most of you have played basketball. Ready? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna play defense. Troy needs to pass the ball to his teammate who's directly behind him. Right? So, perfect. Just about every one of you would do that if I gave you a basketball. Right? It's 100 for 100. Every time they do it right. But with lacrosse, everyone stares at the goalie and throws it right into their hands. So we're going to try to incorporate some of that basketball stuff, you know, with our chin and our eyes, right? So if I want you to go that way, I'm going to look big, get you to move, and then shoot low. So here's the tip for lacrosse. Goalies are taught to read the chin. So if I'm going to shoot down, goalies are taught if the chin's down, it means they want to go low. Chin's up, they're probably shooting high, which makes sense if you think about it and you start shooting and think about it. So we're going to use that information and we're going to duck that chin, fake low and go high. And again, we want to fake with our chin and with our eyes. Really sell it with your eyes. Here and then up. When we fake high, it's going to be here. Big eyes, get them to move and go down. All right? So Troy's going to show us. He's going to do a couple. Once you go uh, high and low. Good, do another one. Watch his chin, his eyes, and it's hard to the helmet. And you'll see him dip that chin up. Good. Now he's going to lower to high. Again, it's only a four foot net, this is a little difficult, but he's going to fake low, drop that chin. Good. Do it again, drop that chin more, sell it. Good. Perfect. Guys, and it just doesn't have to be just a uh, shooting drill. You can do that when you're having a catch with your friends, but start really incorporating it. I want you to notice a few things, not just how he used his head and his momentum, the chin and the eyes, but notice how little his stick moved. You don't want to, we're not faking like this. It's just a little twitch, okay? So uh, I think it's really underutilized. I think it'll help you a lot in your overall game. I hope you guys liked our latest video. If you want a free lacrosse training workout that will help you add 10 miles per hour to your shot, just click here or click the link in the description, enter in your email, and I will send it directly to your email. Don't forget to subscribe, like us, or leave a comment. Until next time, keep working.